friends I'm making this video probably for trolls <laughs> because I really don't think they're having this trouble at all. I'll tell you more about that later, but first let me just answer this question. How do you start the Cobalt uh, Generation 4 electric mower? How do you start it? There's this button right here, right here, as you can see, right here. <laughs> You push this button down, hold it for a couple of seconds. I have to hold it a couple of seconds. Pull back on this. And there you go. Oh. You let go of that, it ends. Again, you push down on start. Hold it for two seconds. Pull back. And there you go. For those of you who really want to know how that works, you can stop the video now. I will, I'm, I'm saying this, video, this because I've had about five or six people send me little messages saying, it won't start, I can't get mine to start, I'm taking it back, it won't start. I think it's trolls because when I go look at, the, um, at their profiles, they have no videos posted. I think what it is is somebody that doesn't like the fact that there are electric mowers in the world. <laughs> or maybe it's competitors that have other electric mowers and don't want you to know about this really excellent one, which is, I, I think it's great. The other reason I know it's not a problem is if you go to Lowe's Hardware's website and check the reviews, they all say what I say. They give it almost five stars, four stars. Why would you give it four stars? Because it's not as powerful naturally as a gas-powered mower. Why would you give it five stars? Because it's at least half that powerful, and if you take care of your yard and you stay ahead of the mowing, it's plenty sufficient for mowing your grass. I've mowed, mowed my grass for three weeks with it. I've not, not got my riding mower out. I've not uh, paid anything for gas, which is super high now. Matter of fact, I take this battery. Uh, one lady asked me how to get the battery out. Well, there's a little button down here you push back, or push in actually, and it releases the battery, a little black button right beside the battery. This is the battery. The battery, in fact, I've been taking it to work with me. And charging it at work. Why not? I, I, I'm going to go an entire summer and I'm going to mow my grass, which is a pretty complicated yard to mow, honestly. Um, takes probably, uh, with a push mower, about an hour and a half to mow it. And so this one is a push mower, it's not self propelled. But I'm going to try to go an entire summer and not pay anything for the electricity. Nobody cares if I charge it at work. What if it costs maybe a couple bucks to charge that? I don't know. But uh, I mowed. For about 45 minutes yesterday with it. I, I'm now what I'm doing, I'm mowing my, my yard into like thirds. I've got about a third of the yard that I mow one day and a third that I mow the next day and a third that I mow the next. And that way it gives me a little bit of exercise and it's not like going out and killing myself mowing. But this is the battery. Now this is the deal. This is the six million or six amp hour battery. These are not cheap. I think I'm pricing them out like 159 bucks. So if you go get a second battery, it's almost as good to go get a second mower, honestly. Maybe these batteries will go down in price. The battery is guaranteed for three years. So if I go three years without paying for any gas or paying for the electricity to charge the battery, I'm happy with that. The mower itself is guaranteed for five years. Uh, this is the first one of these cobalt mowers that rates really high. Some of the other ones, if you go get, uh, mine is like I say, generation four is what you want to get. Uh, I'll put the model number in the uh, description this is the one that they finally sort of i guess semi-perfected i did want to do this little uh, video here to show you how easy it is to uh, this little segment here to show you how easy it is to fold it all up the other thing i like about it, since there's no gas there's no oil in it it folds up and it sticks in a corner real easy it, it takes up no room in your garage or your shed wherever you put it so the way i do it first thing you do you got these little uh, little flip out things here pull those out, that falls right straight down, you pop it right back in. You take these guys, these little things here on the outside, you turn them like that, and then it just folds right over like that. And then you can set it up, weighs about 50 pounds with the battery, 55 pounds with the battery in it, I think. 50 pounds without it. If I need to pick it up and move it, I usually grab it by under here by the blue, and you got a handle right here that you can pick it up and carry it with. And you just push it up against the wall. No oil, no gas in it, so you don't have to worry about stuff leaking out of it. That's pretty awesome. Then to deploy it again, the cool thing is lay it down, turn it 
turn your little blue knobs back to the way they are when you pull it out. Excuse me. I did it wrong way. Here we go. Now, right, let's do that. Now turn these. Then when you get to your right level, it kind of snaps in place like that. You pull these little guys out again, pull it up. You're ready to mow, my friend. You can go mow, if you can't mow, no mow. And that is what's awesome about it. I and mean, it's easy to put up. And I'm totally digging it. It's not hard uh, to push around. It's lighter weight than my gas powered ones that are not. I, did, I still have one, a really good one, a Husqvarna. It's gas powered that I'll use if I ever think I need, I'm getting overgrown or something. Uh, you might need to have a gas powered mower just in case you get in situations where you got real tall grass. But what this is made for is mowing reasonable sized grass and keeping it mowed. And uh, it's super quiet, super quiet. Nobody in the neighborhood. I go out seven o'clock in the morning, most mornings when it's nice and cool, and I mow my grass. And the neighbors never even know it, doesn't wake up anybody, and does a killer job. Now, this, what you see behind me has not been mowed in uh, about a week. So, uh, but this behind me here, I mowed yesterday. Go ahead and whip it around us for a second. So, all that gets up under trees nice and really good. I mean, it looks, it looks, my, my yard looks a little bit of a mess. Like Hendrix's toys, it's like he's grabbed a, uh, a plant, a flower plant container there and torn it up. But anyway, it does a killer job on the yard. That's it, folks. To the trolls. Uh, uh, like I say, probably not even a problem. Probably silly I even did this video. Did it anyway. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.